Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. David Allen, the white rhino, sparring Usek and then Povetkin. Well, that's good that. Uh, so Dave's going to try and replicate Derek Chisora against Usek in sparring. And then he's going to replicate Dylan White against Povetkin. That's good. That's good that. It'll uh, be taking more punishment, won't he? So that's bad, isn't it? So I, 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 don't, I don't get that. Is he just picking up a few quid? Or is he getting his brains punched in? I don't know. I don't know, but let's hope that it's technical sparring, that he's not getting knocked about, eh? But I've heard Usyk sets about him in sparring, so... We'll see, won't we, but is this where Dave's heading now as a sparring partner? Is that what he is, a sparring partner? Why don't they get him on a show? I don't know, if he's not on the any of them two shows that are coming up, there's something to miss, isn't there? Because... He needs an arm round him, he doesn't need abusing by a match him. But I'm going to tip my hat off to him this, this week. I saw an interview that he did with that rimmer, Rob Tebbert. And uh, I thought he spoke really well regarding bean, runner bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked bean, creepy bean, beanie. We're on to you, Stiltskin. We are on to you. Where's the bodies? Now, Adam Smith, a.k.a. Bean, he's the head of Sky Sports Boxing. You know, you know the gimpish guy with the comb over from Beanville Island. Head man of the Bean Masons, the cult. Now, Adam Smith's head of Sky Sports Boxing. He's also a commentator. Right? What that means is he's going to commentate on fights. With Matchroom Fighters. Now Matchroom have an exclusive deal with Sky. Is that a conflict of interest? Hmm. We know a song about that, don't we? But. Is anybody pulling him up on this? No. It's been going on for ten years now, hasn't it? This conflict of interest. This. Let's not say anything about the opponent landing punches, let's just say that the matchroom fighter's got a good chin. It's been going on for far too long, hasn't it, Beanie? I'm calling for you to resign, Bean, from your position at Sky. Because uh, you're just annoying me now. You, you, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem, Bean. When you commentate, you don't shut your mouth. Uh, you've got a conflict of interest. Shut your pie hole when you're commentating and let us watch it. Because everybody I know now, they just turn mute off. They don't want to hear you rubbish. All right. People are sick of you being. So Dave Allen, well done for speaking out. Now, I hope that you don't get punished for that. But Bean has got a conflict of interest. I mean, we're talking about a man here. Let's just put this into perspective. He's never had a fight in his life, but he's an expert on commentating. He's an expert commentator. I think it all goes back to Adam Smith doing that interview on... Uh, is it Seconds Out? A few years back. Where he said that uh, all his mates got certain toys when they were 10. You know, Ataris and stuff like that. And Astro Wars. And Adam Smith got a dictaphone. And he remembers walking around... His, his house on Christmas Day, and this is out there on YouTube, speaking into his dictaphone and uh, coming out with things like, Down goes Frasier! Down goes Frasier! You know, things like that, and pretending to be a commentator. I mean, God, <laughs> Adam Smith, I bet you were cool at school. Could you imagine him at school? <laughs> hey. But it is what it is. I don't want it to be. I don't want to make this video about Bean. I want to make this video about Dave Allen. I hope he's all right. And I hope he's not getting punched upside down by Usyk and Povetkin. Uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? But let's not make it about Bean because people will be calling me a bully, won't they? And we can't have that. But we just have to pull these people up on the rubbish, don't we? But like I've just said there. Conflict of interest. It's a bit like 
Johnny Nelson and rest of them coming out admitting maybe, maybe, maybe they might be in a bit biased listen if I hadn't said anything and caused such a storm Johnny Nelson wouldn't have put his grovelling apology out would he Mr Grovelinator the Grovelinator eh be like Robert Smith he's backtracking now isn't he oh it wasn't 28 days it was 48 nobody in boxing border control history has had a 48 day ban it's 28 or 45 but anyway listen I'm, I'm going to end up doing my own editing with this aren't I so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing the comment and leaving a nice comment leave a bad one if you want don't really matter to me they get removed anyway <laughs> alright bump don't have nightmares